texts that pertain upon what is the topic or discussion in the matter within said thread or threads of the comments in the comment section. <laughs> and even when they do retort on things like that and just flat out say, has been going on for a long time, like I said. None of this is absolutely new. But it is strange that people will always be people. In other words, humanity, we're all fucking assholes. Literally, I've always said this. Everybody's an asshole to somebody. If you don't believe so, it's true. You will find people that dislike you will say that you're a fucking asshole, while you have others saying, you're not an asshole, you're a very nice person, or whatever. No, there'll be people that'll say, no, you're a fucking piece of shit, you're an asshole, you're a douchebag, or whatever. You know, they'll just say horrible things. 
is in their eyes and mind, and whatever you say or do, you will always be an asshole to them, no matter what. You think, I do no wrong, well, you're an asshole. <laughs> Just face it. Just accept it. We're all assholes. We're all dipshits. We're all morons in some fucking way. But we really should not throw words around like stupid, um, you know, saying idiot, imbecile, and moron. Because those are actual terms for uh, mental capabilities. Uh, yeah. So if you're below average and the further level within the IQ tests that you, uh, you have, um, your scores is lower than average, by the way. To be of average IQ, you have to have an IQ of 100. That is average. Anything up below 100, and it's actually within percentiles if you really think about it. You know. yeah. So, going below, you know, let's say 90, you know, your score is below 90, it's in the 80s. And going below that further, you'll have the different destinations of imbecile, moron, <laughs> idiot. And what's also strange is we just throw these terms around when at one time that could end up throwing you into a, a mental ward for being retarded. <laughs> yeah, that's kind of what they did. Mental retardation, throw them into this mental ward or whatever, so we don't have to deal with people like that. Same thing with people that were imbeciles and morons and idiots. <laughs> yeah. Because at one time, they just didn't want them to breed or to exist. That's kind of within the lines of eugenics. <laughs> but still, as I'm saying, is this a uh, we're all stupid in some way or another. I mean, like, think of this. The things we do and say, and especially the mean, uh, heartless things we say, and sometimes we just say shit just to piss people off, or even it was meant to be funny, even though, you know, it was like a, a mean comment or whatever. But we meant no real harm by it. Others just flip out. <laughs> and also why I'm saying that we're all idiots in some fucking way is that we're not experts in every field of interest. No, we don't know everything about everything. Do you? If you claim you do, you're a fucking liar. <laughs> or, or you're just so delusional that you about everything and anything, even things that haven't even come into existence yet by the creation of man or whatever, you know, or even things that we haven't even discovered yet or to prove that does exist, uh, let's say some weird spatial anomalies that we haven't even theorized of existing yet because we haven't even experienced that or even come up with said com uh, you know, concepts of such particular things. And also, anything that you can think of and come up with that you believe is absolutely new, no matter what, it's already been thought of and done and said way before that you ever existed or even before your civilization ever came into existence nothing is truly new that we think is oh this hasn't been done or thought of well maybe the, uh, uh, that particular thing hasn't been physically done yet but the ideas of it have been done before you were the first
concepts are not really anything new of thinking of a magical device that can conjure up objects or to create beings out of just pure thought and energy or unknown ways. it would destroy the fabric of their society. No. They were thinking of harvesting something that was so small that was uncuttable. In other words, the atom. That's what it means, uncuttable. Um, to smash these tiny particles together to form great amounts of energy. And if you have multitudes of these things that are smashing into each other, creating vast amounts of energy real quickly, then you end up with an atomic pile that explodes devastatingly, you know. So we're talking the concepts of nuclear warfare and uh, the powers and dangers of the atomic bombs and such in ancient Greece, because they saw at their time in their society uh, and all the different you know, Holetian societies and the Macedonians and stuff and all such peoples around the Mediterranean that they realize come down to it they are bloodthirsty violent beings of their societies they're always engaging at war for resources or for wealth or whatever or absolutely of the other. And if they believe that with this said technology brought forth into uh, their societies at that time, we would cease to exist. Yeah. Uh, in other words, the Lucians believe that they would cease to exist. The same thing with everybody else within around the Mediterranean and possibly Besides that, uh, look at all of the ridiculously gigantic sea creatures that we have discovered that we thought was just, oh, that was just a myth. No, there are um, real life Kraken, depending on what you want to consider the Kraken, is it actually uh, basically a gigantic octopus or a gigantic uh, you know, squid? They exist. <laughs> Gigantic, I mean, severely massive uh, squids and also octopuses, or octopi, technically, if you want to be more precise. They exist. 
exist in the, the deepest recesses of our oceans, and a lot of them have come really close to the surface of the water and also the coastlines of, uh, of Africa and South America. Yeah, within the Atlantic. So, <laughs> yeah. So a lot of these myths of these kind of creatures attacking things, they do attack. They are massive. You've been seeing something that goddamn huge floating in the water screaming past your ship. Your ship is tiny compared to some of these creatures that we have discovered and actually taken photos and videos of said things. And even some of the stuff that when we went in really deep within the Marinara Trench, we saw creatures that seem to be unearthly. Creatures that exist and hunt in the deepest, darkest recesses of the trenches, of, of all the trenches, including the Marinara Trench, where there's these plant fishes, massive Probably even today, you know, these uh, with these tentacles that would probe out of their heads and um, you can say right out of their forehead and stuff. And they have is this luminous light, and that light is to attract their prey. And when their prey sees that light, they they're blinded. They don't see the creature that that light is attached to. And then they get heat because they are blinded by the light. They're enticed by this light that shines in the darkness. And by the time they realize what's going on, it ends up being too late. Unless if they're quicker than the lamp fish is. So nothing is really new. And same thing with section and they just don't back up their shit. They just start spewing crap and claiming to be factual and say this is it and this is the only way you don't know. Without understanding where the original commenter about their they're literally trying to trash or even where the video in said question is from. And <laughs> Claiming they know everything and not knowing the actual facts about things. What is being said or what the video has done and has shown and stuff. Maybe even said within it, you know. And also misunderstanding of basic words. Like within comment sections, reading other people's posts and saying, well, what are you talking about? They're not talking, they're typing. They're not writing, they're typing because this is type on, the, on your device's screens. It is not written words because to write something down is to scroll it with some object such as a pen or pencil and such. But typically you are just tapping away at your screen symbols such as uh, your, your kanji or um, cuneiform imprints, you know, you know, textual uh, implementations of the original um, uh, font of how it was handwritten. When you write something with a pen or pencil or maybe a wedge pressing such and kanji and uh, hirakana 
pay at something and having a pre-designed, you know, typeface, you know, set type, you know, such as letters or could you know, form, you know, symbols and stuff and kanji and hieroglyphics and other um, pictographic, you know, writings and such. Even the writings of the Native Americans of different tribes of their written works that they comprised of after uh, integrating or even been uh, simulated or you could say the interactions with peoples that have created written systems. going to start bitching at something or someone or whatever, whatever it is, please back up your shit. I mean, literally, show some proof, have some consideration of others, and quit being a fucking douchebag towards people, because it just looks bad on you. And I really hate is certain sayings is, like, when you assume you make an ass out of you and me, no. You don't. You're the asshole for saying that to somebody. When somebody assumes they're not making an ass out of you and me, it's they're just making an ass out of themselves when they assume stupid shit or whatever and go off on their little uh, assumptions that is completely derailed and wrong or whatever. But if you have like a simple misunderstanding and you assume this is what it is or meant because the information was given to you this is what allude to this conclusion they're not the asshole you tell them all that you're, they're an asshole for assuming it, making an ass out of them and yourself no you, you are the one that's the asshole the one that assuming depending on how assumptions that they have. It could be a, just a simple misunderstanding based off of the information they have obtained and it just ruined to this particular content and information because if you just had only the information and understanding it, what was going on or whatever that they had uh, to assume to upon this conclusion, you probably arrived at the same conclusion as them without any other information that contradict what was already told to them or shown to them or whatever or what they experienced. 
So, I just don't, you know, y'all ain't right. <laughs> Until next time.